My name is Billy Sue. I'm the dye tech here at Barley Lexus. What we have here is a 2010 IS350 F Sport that I would like to take you guys on a little tour. Uh, this is a brand new uh, concept car from Lexus. It has the, all the tuner parts available currently from Lexus, from the big brakes to the sway bars to the springs. And the car itself is just a gorgeous car. Obviously, you can see that it's a convertible. Uh, it comes equipped with a 3.5 liter direct injection V6 and a six manual transmission with aluminum paddle shifters. And the car itself, it is a blast to drive, being that it's a rear wheel drive. It, ha it has the second generation F Sport 19 inch wheels with StopTech F Sport front and rear brakes. And obviously it comes equipped standard as with the course drill rotors. The car is lowered with F Sport spring and front and rear obviously. And it is something that is available since 2007. Um, if you would follow me back here, I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration on the uh, convertible top operation and just give you guys a sneak peek on what this car can do. So the button is located to the left side of the steering wheel and is clearly marked open and close. The car itself has to be in park for the top to operate. And right now I'm just gonna cycle the top closed by pushing the button and you see it. There we go. This top, convertible top, has over 15 motors, over 30 plus sensors, I believe, that will monitor the top um, operation at all times. If at any given time, one of the sensors, or limit switches is what we call it, is not properly registered to the ECU, the entire rooftop will not operate. And it's just a little like a safety design that they have put in. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the trunk. Um, what we have here is what we call a cargo cover. When it's stored, okay, the trunk space is humongous. I mean, it, you could put two, two golf bags in here easily. But for the top to operate, um, the, the, this little cargo cover has to be pulled down. Okay, you have to slide the entire cargo tray backwards. And you can see that there's two points here. One is at the lower point here, and one is at the upper point. And obviously, it's on both sides. You need to take that cover and just give it a good shove. Now, that will engage the actual safety limit switch for the top to operate here. It will open the entire top in less than 20 seconds. You can see that right now. Now there are two stages before it actually final closes and you'll hear audible warning tone from, here's one right now, that means the top has completely opened. To close the top, it's, uh, it's just as easy as open it. You flip the switch here and actually will close. It's a three piece roof, which is something new. The SC430 had a two piece roof. And here you go, that's the first audible warning tone. If you were to continue to hold that switch down, the both front and rear quarter window will go ahead and roll up. And if you don't, if you stop at the first audible tone, it will give you like that, that California, you know, convertible <laughs> top look by having the, all the windows down. Um, the car is equipped with four window switches, uh, two for the rear to operate the quarter and two in the front to operate the two front doors. Being that this is a special edition F Sport vehicle, there's only a limited amount of cars that is actually made. You will see that there is actual F Sport badge. Okay, this one is actually 02 out of 100. And they have added accent details like the blue stitchings, the matching F Sport mats. Actually, look on the outside of it, the, the blue itself will actually match the calipers. The car, the car comes with the F Sport badge. Uh, so, what we have here is the power plant of this IS350. It's, it's equipped with the 2GR FSE direct injected with port injectors. Um, this engine is actually very unique because it runs 12 injectors total and yet it's very torquey. It's a smooth power delivering vehicle and it has a lot of fun just because they added in the paddle shifters and you can downshift on a flight and this thing is pretty much would just take off. 
the engineering of the car is, is just simply amazing. And overall, maintaining the vehicle, the cost of ownership, just because the product is so great, has been just been so low. On um, these cars, they equipped with world standard transmission fluids, uh, which is recommended to be replaced 100,000 miles. Um, you have the super long life coolant, which is again is recommended at replaced at 100,000 miles and 50,000 miles after. Um, I mean, these these type of these type of cars in general is, is just great on main, maintaining. All you got to do is the cap, the cabin filter, the air filter, and maybe throw a wiper insert on there. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Um, very advanced. It has, the engine itself has uh, intake VVTi and exhaust VVTi. It's what gives this motor the type of smooth power delivery, if you will, and you know, the overall performance of this car.